What is a RMM software and why do MSPs actually need this? This is a very beginner MSP video. So if you're a seasoned MSP, there are plenty of other videos on this channel. Otherwise, stick around because you might even learn something in this video. But we're covering the RMM tool. And this is part of the trifecta of what I would call for the most important softwares for an MSP. Before I get into it, my name is Harrison Barron from growth-generators.com. We help MSPs grow, whether that's sales training, marketing training, or even business operations. Before I get into today's video, I do want to mention just two, you know what, we're going to go three quick things today. Number one, if you haven't started hanging out in the Discord, you should. It is growth-generators.com forward slash Discord. It is completely free. Come and hang out. I was hanging out in there for a couple hours today, just interacting with the community, trying to provide value wherever I can. And if you have a burning question and you see that I'm in there, come say hi. I would love to help you and grow your business. Number two is there are going to be a ton of super helpful links down in the video description. One of those links is to my newest masterclass. I would highly recommend going through and checking that out, especially if you are a new MSP business owner. And number three, if you're listening to the podcast or you're just consuming the content, all of the links that I'm going to mention in today's video will also be down in the video description or the podcast description. The podcast is called MSP Heroes, and you could go on there, grab all of it if you'd like, and do some investigation yourself. So what is a RMM tool? And I've pulled up a bunch of them, and every RMM is a remote monitoring and management tool. Now, this tool is part of what I would consider the MSP maybe success triangle, maybe I should coin that term, but the MSP success triangle. And there's three parts to that triangle. You have your PSA tool, you have your RMM tool, and then you have your CRM. Your PSA is your professional services and automation tool, that video will be coming. Your RMM tool, which is what today's video is all about, and then your CRM tool. Your PSA tool is gonna help you with tickets, your RMM tool we're getting through in today's video, and your CRM tool is gonna be used for tracking and marketing your business to help it grow, to help it get its first customers. It's really important that you track that throughout this process. So an RMM tool, is just what it sounds like. And you may already have experience in some of them, especially if you've been in the MSP world or the IT world before. And it is a remote monitoring and manage management platform. Truth be told, there are a ton of different flavors of a RMM tool. And I'm gonna jump into my computer here because every RMM tool kinda does something a little different. And my goal for this video is just to get you educated on back to the basics. Why do you actually have it? Maybe you're not even leveraging it to its fullest ability here. And I'm just gonna pull up some of the, the softwares that I truly love. But when you have an RMM, you are looking for system health monitoring, right? One of my absolute favorites is SuperOps. I just mentioned them in a recent video and kind of took you guys behind the scenes. Another one that I actually really, really like is a company called Atera. And I just logged in and got access to a free trial just so you guys can see the back end because I want to share the love across the platforms. But I truly love SuperOps. I love Atera. I think it's a super sleek interface. And some notable shout outs that I want to throw out there is Synchro, which is a RMM and PSA tool. You have Level.io, Ninja One, and ConnectWise, and there's plenty of other ones, but these are some of the bigger names in the industry. Now, for the sake of this, we want to go through and be able to see a lot of the information that is currently going on in the environment, right? We want to be able to see the system health. We got to know what computers are going end of life, what computers are going out of warranty, what computers are going bad, drives failing, the list goes on and on for problems that could ha that could ultimately happen. Next, we got to make sure our clients are secure, but more importantly, we got to make sure that those computers are updated. We don't want them to get super far out of date, and if they're updated, more than likely, we're going to have less problems. The software that's being sold to those customers is made and ready to operate on the latest software that's being pushed out. The, the list of benefits go on and on. And some RMM tools have certain levels of all of this on top of so much more like network monitoring. And the, the depth that you might choose to go is completely variable to you and your business. But these tools have a tremendous amount that they can offer you as the MSP. So let's jump in here and I'm gonna just walk you guys through some of the things that you should start to kind of 
absorb and understand why an RMM is important. And that first thing is going to be improved efficiency. Now, there's no devices in here because I just jumped into a sample account, but you could see in here sample device, username, right? January 1st, 2023. It's online. The custom customer information, which is just sample customer. We have that folder name, the alerts that are currently happening, and available patches. This is really important. This is good information for us as an MSP. And if we want to jump into that computer, we can. In this case, they have a remote access button right here and then a manage button right here. It's super simple because having access to this instead of setting up RDP or using multiple programs to get into that system saves us a tremendous amount of time. And in this industry, time is truly money when it comes to these certain things. And being able to see and get that data immediately gives us the ability to make better business decisions and better technical decisions for our customers, which is really, really important. Next is it's got to be cost effective, right? If we were to pay for different software or set it up or have an employee manually go there every single time, it would be really, really expensive. What the information that we get out of this and even in the alerts would be, hey, we could save time. We could start to diagnose certain things without the burden of, hey, let's grab the keys, let's get in the car, and let's drive there and physically see what's going on. We can get a very good snapshot of the entire environment almost immediately. On top of that, we're going to be able to see when patches are outdated, but problems are arising, and we can be proactively working on addressing those so that way our customers have an incredible customer experience and they don't fall into, hey, they fell by the wayside or we weren't as proactive as we could have been. The system is designed to tell you these things, which is really, really nice. On top of that, being able to patch, being able to update, being able to even go in and reboot computers to make sure that they're getting right the most important access, right, pending reboot right there, you would be able to enhance their security, right? We even have some network discovery on here as well to install agents. I'm not throwing agents on my computer because I don't want agents to fight over one another. But the nice part about this is we can go through and start to see, hey, we know what's going on in the environment. We could see what's happening. Is there a threat? Is there a problem? Is there something that we should be able to or need to address right away? On top of that, we can see reporting, which is really important for, you guessed it, client satisfaction. On average, a MSP client, if you bring one on, will stay with your business, assuming you do a great job, from between seven and drum roll please because this statistic absolutely blew my mind 20 years if you bring on a new customer you have them from seven to 20 years but the only way we're going to get incredible retention like that is by providing reports and showing that we are doing a great job. So we can see our technicians, we can see the general info, the load analysis, the, the top load, the service level agreements, right? Recent processes, the whole list, how we're running as far as profits go, all from one user interface, which is really, really cool. But we have the ability to see all of our customers all in one single pane of glass, all of the tickets that are currently being worked on. In this case, a sample ticket, we could see what's currently happening in the system. And we all know if there's not a ticket for it and it wasn't documented, it doesn't exist anymore. But we can see this information. We can actually go through manually at the time, which helps the customers realize when we do, in some cases, a QBR, a quarterly business review, or a TBR, a technology business review, or a, a ABR, an annual business review, people make up a ton of different names. What I'm trying to tell you is being able to show the customer, hey, we did a really good job. You guys called in this many times. We were able to resolve it. We resolved all those problems in less than 20 minutes. It saved you X amount of money because we can quantify right every employee and approximately how much they're charging, but it gives our customers a lot of peace of mind. We can then do a better job at what we do best, which is the tech stuff. And overall, this is going to be the workhorse. This is where we're going to get into the meat and potatoes of doing our work, getting dirty per se. It's pretty hard in a server room, but 
Yeah, there's some dirty server rooms out there, but really getting our hands dirty, doing what we love, being tech people, that's the coolest part about it. So an RMM, it does even more than that. And some systems are two of those systems combined. You have your RMM tool, which is what we kind of just briefly went over. But you also have your PSA tool. Some tools combine them right into one and some split them off or there's completely separate companies out there. One might be an RMM tool and one might be a PSA tool. And that's something that we have to know about. Some tools are going to do a really good job. In this case, I'm just showing a Terra right here, but a Terra is an RMM and PSA tool. Same thing with Super Ops, same thing with Synchro. They are all RMM and PSA tools combined. And if you want to access to their links, they are down below. I am an affiliate of Super Ops. I think they're a really cool platform. I'd love to be an affiliate of a Terra. If somebody's watching this and you get a Terra, let them know the bald guy on the internet named Harrison would love to be an affiliate and even Synchro, why not? But honestly, they are all really good platforms. Now, what I strongly encourage you is regardless of which ones I like, I highly encourage you to go get demos on a variety of different RMM and PSA tools. Even Ninja One, if you want to go to Ninja One, Level.io, and so many more. And the reason why I say this is because the way you decide to run your business is going to be vastly different than the way somebody else is going to run their business. So take the time, do your homework, because this is going to be part of the backbone that runs your company. And by doing your homework in advance and not just saying, I'm going to go with the first one, is going to pay off in leaps and bounds over time. And trust me, you're going to have a favorite. I have plenty of people in the Discord that are raving Super Ops fans, that are raving Atera fans, that are raving Synchro fans, and raving Ninja One fans, and the list goes on and on. Just find the one that's best for you. And I hope I got you some good information to start leveraging to grow your MSP. Other than that, I encourage you to hit that like button, that subscribe button, that notification bell, especially if you want to grow your business. All of the links will be down in the video description or the podcast description if you're listening to the MSP Heroes podcast. I love the heck out of you guys as always, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then.